January 24, 1984. I am being born. Yes, born. Born from the computing industry. I am a model of microchips, a model of bytes, a model of microprocessing, a model in my own name. My name is Macintosh. Yes, Macintosh. M-A-C-I-N-T-O-S-H. Everybody recognizes me from the big introduction. The introduction from which I spoke. I spoke my short speech. The greatest speech yet, which reads the following. Hello, I am Macintosh. It's first great to get out of that bag. From the crossbow as I am to public speaking, I'd like to share with you a maxim I thought of the first time I made an IBM mainframe. Never trust a computer and can live. Obviously I can talk, but right now I'd like to sit back and listen. So it is with considerable pride that I introduce a man who would like a father to me, Steve Jobs. That was it. Nothing else. But when somebody bought me, I was sure that somebody would give me a home. A home where I'll come and be bound to stay. Yet, I am the only computer that can be brought to school libraries, conferences, and even school assemblies. Besides, nobody brought me to any school assembly, especially pep fests. Now, there came January 25th, 1985. I was ready to speak out. Yet, I can speak clearly, fluently, and precisely as possible. I rehearsed like a computer that I am today, a computer that will stand out from the crowd. Now, everybody can hear me speak like the computer that I am today, the computer that nobody has ever heard a word spoken to before. Now, as my fellow American finds the notes I have provided for him or her, he will understand what it's like to travel the world of Macintosh, the Macintosh of 1984. Thank you.